Hello everyone, today I will do a mock signing for a BIOS packet with a loan. So depending on the packet, you can have some additional documents than the one that I show today, or you may have less. Some documents sometimes have to be notarized, or don't, and obviously depending on the lender and escrow company, it may be a little bit different. This is for a California signing. If you are in another state, of course, it may vary a little bit, but at least you have a good idea of how it works and how I do. So if you are a new loan signing agent, obviously it can help you. And if you are a realtor, loan officer or escrow officer, that can help you understand better how I work and see if you like it and maybe we can work together. All right, so let's jump right into it. Are you excited for your new home? I am, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm gonna need to see your ID, please. All right, let's make sure it is correct. Exactly like on the documents. All right, perfect. I'm gonna put it here for now. All right, uh, let's get started. So here's the paperwork uh, for the closing of your new home. We're gonna make sure that the closing statement is what you anticipated. Uh, we will look at the note and make sure the payment is correct. And then on the deed of trust, we'll make sure that it is vested correctly. And because it's California, we have a lot of disclosures, but we're gonna go through the most important things first, the numbers, then we'll go through the rest. All right, first, let's look at the closing statement. Let's use this just underneath you here. All right, so on here we can find on top of the sales price. Then we have the two deposits that you've made already, just here. The new loan amount, here. Underneath probation adjustment, this is for county taxes, and you see the time period here. Loan charges, everything that is with the mortgage, the different fees. Let me look at it. Uh, so this is specific to you, this is the point that you got in order to save on the long run and everything else is pretty standard. Does everything look familiar to you? Yes. Yeah. All right, then we can look at the impounds. The impounds is the money that is set aside for insurance and property taxes and aggregate here actually it is a credit. You see here is a credit and it goes toward the insurance. You see, it's the same amount. Okay. Then title and escrow, it's everything that is performed by First American to close on this transaction for you. It continues on the second page here. And then we have government regarding fees. It's to record the deed of trust, uh, the grant deed and the documentary transfer tax affidavit. And finally, miscellaneous, we see here it's for your insurance premium. So when we look at the end, due from buyer, this is the amount that you will have to wire. Does it look correct? Yes. All right, perfect. So then on the next page, uh, we're gonna need your signature here. We have to sign in blue. Here we go. Perfect. All right, so now let's look at the note. So on the note, we see all the information from the lender, exactly what you're gonna pay. All right, so here we can find your loan amount again here. Uh, we have the lender's name that is here. Then we see here your interest rate. You know, it is a fixed rate because it shows here. Then uh, the first payment uh, will be on this date, February 1st, 2023, and it goes until January 1st, 2053. 53 minus 23, you know it is a 30 years loan. If you decide to mail a check to the lender, this is the address, but usually they send you a welcome letter giving you option to pay online, do auto pay, etc. Uh, then we can see your monthly principal and interest only. 
this is this amount. This does not include taxes and insurance. We'll see on the next document. Okay. You have the right to prepay with no penalty. All right, uh, then if you pay after the 15th of the month, there's a 4% late fee, pretty standard. And basically everything else says that they want you to pay them back, of course. And we're going to need a signature here. So now let's look at the first payment letter. The first payment letter gives you a breakdown. So exactly, we're going to see again here the principal and interest that we saw in the previous document and escrow is the money that is set aside for insurance and taxes. So your full monthly payment is here and you can sign anywhere at the bottom. Okay. So there's another document that gives you the detail to your impound account. So the impound account or escrow account is the money that is set aside each month to pay for taxes and insurance. So here it gives you a one year breakdown. So this is the amount you pay each month that you saw in the previous document. And here we can see that twice a year uh, the lender will pay for the property taxes and once a year for your insurance. And you can sign anyway here. Yeah. Okay, so now let's look at the closing disclosure. So the closing disclosure, it's a document that actually summarizes everything that we just uh, uh, looked at. So all the same info are going to be in this document. It's a little bit redundant. All right, let's look at it. So again, your loan amount, interest rate, monthly principal and interest only. Then this is your total monthly payment that include escrow. It means that there is like taxes and insurance included. Again, the same amount cash to close that you will have to wire. And I will give you, uh, you will have in your packet uh, um, wiring instruction for that. And then on the following two pages, it's uh, similar numbers as the one you saw in the closing statement. It's just a little bit more detailed. And on this page, you will have to sign just here and date. And today is the 16th. Yeah, no. All right, perfect. Okay. Now let's look at the deed of trust. We have to make sure it is vested properly. So you can see here, it shows your name here as the borrower. Make sure that your name is correct. Is it correct? Yes. All right, here we can see the lender. Note, uh, it provides uh, the details to the note. Uh, start date, maturity date, uh, and the loan amount. So exactly the same as in the note. So then on the second page, um, here it shows that there is a VA rider because it's a VA loan. And finally, on this third page, this will be your new address of your new home, just here. Yay. Everything else, basically, it's uh, uh, pretty standard to any deed of trust in California. There's nothing specific to you. On the last page, uh, we have a signature block. So you have to sign just here. Okay, and the rest it's for me. The rest is for me. Yeah, no date on this one. Alright, let me just correct here. San Diego, we're not in San Bernardino. And initial here. Alright, uh, so today on the 16. Here, you put the stamp, have a long name, it goes quicker like this. All right, then, uh, and then, sorry, there you go. 
commission number. All right. And let me stamp it. Uh, here we go. All right. So this was the deed of trust uh, arrangement for one person. All right. So let's look at the writer. So this is the uh, VA writer. It just says that uh, by default, the loan is not assumable. If there's any question, you can ask the VA first. On this one, we have signature and date. Okay. All right, so now let's go in order. Okay, this document here is the grant deed. So basically, the grantor is the builder that is granting you the grantee the property. In the exhibit here, it provides all the information like the legal name, lot number, parcel number, etc. And here, you as the grantee, you accept uh, this grant deed and you have to sign here. All right, let me notarize it. California, County of San Diego, today is the 16th, 2023, correct stamp, all right, here we go, so this one was the great deed, management, one person. Okay, so this is the closing statement. We've already taken care of it. All right, this will be the wiring instruction. So, so there will be this amount uh, to wire. So this is your packet. It's exactly the same document as the one we signed. The first page is this one the income wire instruction. So you have it on the first page. Okay. And this is the amount to be wired, you have it. So make sure you do that after uh, we're done with the signing. Okay. And you can sign anywhere here at the bottom, it's just to show that I provided you this information. Okay, documentary transfer tax affidavit. This one, your escrow officer has already pre-filled it. So you are good. Escrow instruction basically just shows that uh, First American will close on this transaction for you. This is your loan officer handling that and we need a signature just here. All right, now we have a preliminary change of ownership report, PCOR. It's already pre-filled with your name here, a few info here. Uh, they need your phone number where they can reach you during the day, just here. All right, is this gonna be your principal residence? Yes. All right, check mark here. When do you plan to move or to occupy your new property? Right away. Okay, you can put the date. Uh, Okay, uh, where do you want the uh, mail to be uh, sent to and to which name? Is it to you directly? It's not yes. to CPA? Okay, so then you can print your name just here. And then your new address, it is here. So 11 to 2. Well, perfect. All right, look, let me help you then. So then there is a loan. So uh, there is a new loan. So it's a new property. So you're a first purchaser because it's a brand new property. Uh, for your solar system, is it leased or owned? I purchased it. You purchased it. Okay, so it's owned. So and everything else is going to be no. So basically what I did just here is just to say that you have a first owner of a new property with an own solar system and there is a mortgage, a brand new mortgage on the property. Everything else would be like for other situations such as a transfer, parents to children, from spas, etc. 
All right, the second page, uh, it is a purchase. You're gonna own the property 100%. Okay, perfect. Saying the purchase price is here. So then we're gonna look at uh, the loan amount. Let me help you, it's gonna be faster if I do that for you. Uh, so we have a purchase price, uh, the loan amount is here. So it's a VA loan, right? So there's no down payment here. First deed of trust, the interest rate is here. It's for 30 years. Your monthly payment shows here. It is a, a VA loan, it shows here. It's a fixed rate, we can see here. Then discount point, uh, we can see it on the closing statement. It was 0.5. So 0.5. All right, there's no improvement bond. All right, it seems that uh, you used uh, this uh, realtor who works under this uh, broker, is it correct? Yes. All right, do you have a phone number to the uh, broker yes. or to the uh, realtor? Yes. Okay, you can just write it just here. Perfect. All right, so it's a single family residence, right? Yes. Okay, is there any personal or business property that comes with it? Such no. as furniture, lawnmower, whatever. Oh, no. It's brand new, so obviously there's not much. Does this transaction come with a manufactured home? No. I guess not, of course. More as I have to ask. Does this property produce rental income? No. It's brand new, so no. And last question. What is the condition to this property? I hope it's at least good if it's <laughs> brand new. Okay, so check mark here. So and with a signature just here, underneath printed name. Date of today and telephone number. For title, you can write buyer. And finally, your email address. If you need more space underneath for Gmail or Outlook, whatever, okay. You don't have a long email address, so that's easy. Okay, perfect. Making progress. Okay, so now, so when everything will be done, where should they send the closing package to? Your new address? Yes. So if it's your new address, it's here. If you don't have it in mind, so you can just print it here. And after the deed is recorded, you're gonna get it back as well. So same thing, where do you want the deed to be mailed to? Ooh. All right, just to make sure. So what you can do, because it's a little bit difficult to read, just straight through your two initials on top and you can write it again below. Okay, perfect. Then, uh, if there's any secured email to be sent to you, this is the email address they have in file, is it correct? Yes. All right, the signature here. Then, escrow instructions. So again, a document that shows that First American is closing on this transaction. Who is your lender, the loan amount, sales price, your address, and that close of escrow will be on or before January the 16th. And here we have a signature just here. Okay, so these are just instructions. I don't think you have anything to sign on here. I always double check because sometimes there's a signature in the middle of some instructions, but we're good here. Closing disclosure, we've already taken care of it. Service provider, for copy, nothing for you. The note, it's done already. All right, instruction, the 
deal of trust. Same thing, it is done already. The writer. Okay, so now we have the loan application. So if I'm here today, is that you have already provided all your info to the lender or everything uh, about uh, your finance, income, etc. But they like to have it uh, printed and uh, to make sure that you sign it. Uh, so here we can see just your name here. It's just you. You do not apply for joint credit, so you don't need to initial here. Everything here is the information you provided. And on this page here we need your signature and the date following this format so it's gonna to have to be 01 16 2023 all right thank you because it is a VA loan we have uh, this uh, HUD uh, document HUD is the Department of Housing and Urban Development and on this one it's on the second page so basically here it says exactly the same thing as uh, in the note loan amount interest rate etc on the second page you have two signatures the first one is on top you see signature of borrower it's in very small so a signature here and the date here All right, and you also have a signature at the bottom and a date. Yeah, it feels like a lot, lot of documents <laughs> are always the same things, right? Yeah. And especially for a VA loan, it's uh, not double the documents, but a few extra documents that say the same thing. Uh, okay, so this... Um, Okay, so this is called the affidavit of identity. So this is just to say that uh, you, you see uh, your name here, you and all these names, you are the same person. So these uh, names here, it may be uh, some names that you used in the past or uh, that you may be known as. I'll let you double check to make sure uh, that it is correct. If something is not, sometimes there's some typo, let me know and we can fix it. Does all these six names are correct? Yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? This name here doesn't look correct. All right, so if it's not correct, it's not you, right? No. Okay, strike through, and underneath you put your initial, just to show that you don't want to be uh, uh, associated to this person if this person exists. Okay, so and don't forget to put the date. And I have to give you an oath. I'm going to ask you a question. So if it is correct, you can either say, yes, I swear, or yes, I affirm. All right. So Terry, do you swear or affirm that the statement in this document is true? Yes, I swear. All right. Thank you. All right. So to me, so let's do this. This is not California compliant, but I have my stamp here. Make it right. Okay. All right. The 16th day of January 2023. Oh, I like your cat. <laughs> All right. What's your cat's name? Oh. All right, she's good now. All right, here and... All right, so this one, I feel a bit of identity, Gerard for one person, okay. All right, this just say that uh, you have received the appraisal. We're gonna need a signature and date. If you haven't received it, you can receive it. Actually, you have to do it twice. It's exactly the same document. Uh, the next document uh, is uh, with uh, your bank. It's if you want uh, to uh, do auto pay, you can uh, fill it out right now. 
Or if you don't, you don't have to do it. It's, it's up to you. Do it later. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Let me just make sure that there's not anything else. Okay. All right. So then you'll take care of it directly with your bank, right? Okay. This is to give consent to use uh, your tax return. I'm sure you may have already given it uh, to get this loan. Uh, this is another one. If there is an uh, excess fund in the escrow account after it uh, closes, do you want to receive a check or uh, a wire? If you want to receive a wire, you have to fill this out. If you don't do anything, we're going to send you a check. You can just send me a check. Okay, so you can just sign and date. Okay. This is for the builder. Errors and omissions agreement. So this is if there is any clerical error, uh, you would work with a lender to have it addressed. This is nothing regarding the loan amount or uh, interest rate. It's just like, uh, as it says, like uh, typos, etc. Let's see it your end date. And for this, I have to give you an oath again. Okay. So Terry. Do you swear or affirm that the statement in this document is true? I swear. Okay. Yes, yeah. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. The 16th day of January 2023. This guy. Okay, so this was errors and omission agreement. Address one person. Okay, almost there. <laughs> okay, so this is done. That's why I do in this order to have the most important document first because usually people get tired and uh, <laughs> and then they just say, yeah, whatever, I sign. <laughs> So this is just to say that you got uh, the conditional approval of your loan, of course, because otherwise I would not be here. And that you need to have proper uh, insurance. And I think you've already provided the documents. And we're going to need a signature and date here. The 16th. Perfect. Okay, so this was just to show again the detail to your loan and there was a rate lock. That's why it's checked here. And you have a signature and date here. Oh, let me see this document. All right, so it goes on before. Okay, it goes here. Thank you. New construction, property tax information, because it's a uh, uh, new construction, it, you may have some increases in your taxes, just to let you know. Uh, this is a notice to VA loan borrower. Uh, by default, it's not assumable. If you want to do anything, uh, you would have to contact uh, the VA. And if you want to sell the property, obviously they can accelerate the note. So basically they want you to pay it off. So a signature and date. Okay. All right, so then we have some VA documents. This is specific to VA. So on this document, we see on top, 
here you see your loan number. It's what we saw in all the previous documents. Because it is a VA loan, you also have a VA loan number. So that's why you may wonder why you have two numbers. So one for the VA and one specific to the lender. And everything else, it's again the info to your loan, etc. Nothing new here. On this document, uh, so uh, so which branch were you, by the way? Air Force. Air Force. <laughs> wow, wow. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh, here there is a question. It asks you if you are still active duty. I'll let you look at it. Does it apply or it doesn't apply? I've not been certain. Correct. I'm still active. Are you still active? Oh, okay, or so if you're still active, it, there's a check mark here. Oh, okay. All right, perfect. Then we already provided information about you, the signature here and date. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. a date and signature. You're wondering what does he say? <laughs> okay. All right, thank you. Okay, now we have form 4506C. Basically, this is the request for transcript of tax return. You just you sign a document very similar to that before. On this document, make sure that your name and social security number are correct. Yes. Okay, if this is correct, then there's a check mark here to attest that you have authority to sign this document. And finally, signature and date. This is for the builder. Our builder as well. Uh, okay, so this is uh, just that uh, for the taxes that you authorize the lender to pay it for you for the property that is described here. And we have signature and date. This is just to say that uh, this property was not inspected by the VA during its construction. Right, just to say that no one from the VA came while they were doing everything to make sure it was all okay. So okay. It's a way like a discharge for, for them, I would say that. Uh, then this is enough for you. Uh, and there's one last page, last one. All right. All right. Warranty of completion of construction. Have you made your walkthrough? Yes. There is a home. They built a home? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, it's this is just to make sure that uh, they're financing a home and not thin air. So if there's a home, you can sign here and date following this format to say that yes, I can tell they have completed work. All right, congrats with your Yay, signing. Thank you so much. There's one more, one more signature. One last one. Okay. So, and this is Minority uh, Journal. Okay, so. Put the date of today. Usually I can do that when people sign so slow, I manage to do both at the same time, but as you scribble, it goes fast. I didn't have to do it. So type PM. You have a signer, California, double license D, two, three, four, X, six, expiration, zero, five, twelve, twenty, twenty, four. Okay. Uh, then, just uh, for that, first American Tamo Company, Navy Fed, load number. Okay, here. Question, the address on your uh, ID, is it your current address as of right now? Yes. Okay. And what's your phone number again? 555 Interesting number. <laughs> and your email address, I think, to Asteri. 
Uh, Gmail. Okay. All right. All right, let me give you your ID back first. So you don't call me later to say I haven't given it to you. Okay, it's in your wallet. Okay, good. All right, and now let's look at it. So I use your driver license to fill this out here. These are the different notarization that I performed today. Uh, where we are right now to sign only you at this table. First American title is closing on this transaction. That is your lender, loan number, your current address, phone number, email address. We're gonna need a signature just here. Then your two initials here because I gave you oaths. And finally, I'm gonna need you right thumb print oh, just here. Good. Yeah. And it should be right off. It's not the sticky one. All right, uh, again, congrats. So before I leave, let me double check everything. So this will be yours. So this okay. is yours. I will use that like, okay. All right, an original is fine. And let me use that. Let me take a couple minutes just to review that everything is fine. All right, everything looks great. So don't forget the first page is the wire instruction. That's what you have to do. So then the next step is uh, tomorrow morning. First thing, I will return this document uh, as soon as the escrow company opens. Uh, your uh, escrow officer will double check to make sure that we have signed, dated everything correctly. She has a few things uh, uh, to sign uh, on her own. Um, then she will check to make sure that uh, the money is in the escrow account. So uh, don't forget about it again. And usually I think, the, I mean, the earlier the better. And uh, then she will uh, have the loan funded, meaning that the lender will uh, send the money to the escrow account. And when all the money is in the escrow account, they can disburse the fund. So basically paying the builder, the seller. And the last thing they have to do is to record the deed at the county and usually after the deed is recorded is when your sales agent can give you the keys. Okay. So that, I don't know if it's the uh, escrow officer or your sales agent will, will contact you to tell you when you can pick up the keys. Awesome, okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, feel free to reach out to me. You have my email address down in the description below. Or you can also uh, comment. Thank you.